Hey, it's Kat. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we're going to be looking at the top life pets. So this is kind of just my personal opinion on ones I like just based off of spells. So the first one's over here in the hatchmaking kiosk. So we can go to browse pets, look at life ones, and it's back here. It's the gnome pet. So the gnome pet has a 900 to 1000 damage hit. So you can't use it in PvP, but it's just a really cool spell to see happen as it only takes 9 pips total to do with a 90% chance of hitting. So he's just a cool pet if you're a higher up life wizard looking for something different, a different spell to use. The second pet I have is one on the crown shop. I don't own it, but I've seen this one used a lot. It's usually a fan favorite for life. He's called Little Ratataskor, but overall he's a super cute pet. So he... is this what I'm thinking of? A few moments later. So I'm actually wrong. This is actually a spell, but also a pet. So the little rat to score spell that you can get is not the pet one. So it's called rat to scores spin. And that one is from the Grizzleheim lore pack. But it is a pet that turns into a spell. So we're going to count it. I mean, this is pretty cool too. It has a healing spell possible and possible talents. So it does seem to have some pretty good stats, but it isn't readable. And then we can go ahead and go over to Unicorn Way. So we here we have this pet. This is the Kookaburra. I've actually covered this one in a video previously. But here we're going to see her spell. Hers is an AoE hit. So it creates the Leaf Storm, which just scores around. Super cute. It's a very nice one since it only costs 4 pips total and it does a lot of damage. We can look at the card in a second. But that's what she looks like. She does her little dancey dance. Uh, where is her pet? There's her pet ID. So the Leaf Storm does 345 to 405 damage. But you can also cast a blade on yourself which increases it. And if you are high enough level, you do have a crit chance. I have a 78 critical rating right now which is really high. So I usually crit with it, so it does 600 to maybe 1,000 damage depending on the enemy. So that's what her spell looks like. She does come with a life blade and a healing, and she does have May cast, so I have the fairy friend one. The en energizing battery, ward wrecker, and then I have the, this is just a card that she also gives because she does have a gem spot of a star. So she does have a gem slot, so she also gives me a storm blade card, which is the same as those. And we'll show the other one, Large Tucker. So here's Large Tucker. Large Tucker is a Forest Lord, which gives the Enraged Forest Lord card. And this one is boosted from the normal card. So it does cost a lot more pips. It costs eight total. As it has some differences from the base uh, Forest Lord card. So if you look at it, you can see it does 620 to 700 damage and 25% to the next life spell. So it puts a trap on them afterwards. So we already got six. We just need two more pips and then we're gonna be able to cast him. Oh, is he gonna heal? He's healing. That's his dancing ability. But now we can cast his spell since it's available. So it is eight. Like I said, it has 90% chance of accuracy and has tons of other little items on the side here that you can look at. So we'll go ahead and cast it. He's gonna do another little dancey dance like he did for the heal. Look at that. He's like a little disco dancer. It's really cute. And this is the new version of the spell. I wish this one would be the old version because the old version is so cool. How it used to um, do the do 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 when it hit. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you think I'm crazy. But this is what the newer version of that spell looks like. And it's super cute and it does a lot of damage. So let's get off the path. So that's the only card this pet gets, but you can unlock other talents. Like he has Energizing Battery, Unicorn, and Life Blade. So these are all his May casts. So that's probably my top four favorite life pets. There's a few other ones that you can get that give like life blades. And that's pretty helpful if you're not high enough level to get the life blades. We can go back to the hatch and kiosk area. So now we're back here at the hatch and kiosk. We can kind of see what spells certain ones give. So that one gives a guidance spell for healing, the copper, Colossus. Here's a courageous bull. So this one gives a life blade. So that's pretty cool. Some of them give spells like that's a death spell on a life pet. If you want it, you want it. But here's like the dryad. This one is really cute pet. Look how cute she looks. And she has a life blade. You can always come here to the hatchmaking kiosk and kind of go through what you're looking for. Like if you just want a cool pet, Ibandito. He has the cool little scarab spell. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Life scarab. And some of them will do special stuff like add on the 25% traps, which is really cool because it does boost your next spell as well. And like this is considered a life one. I actually do have this one at my house. Um, I don't think it's available at all anymore. Maybe sometimes on a rare occasion. 
But this one gives a storm uh, spell. Which is kind of weird that it's life. It gives the dark wind 25%. So yeah, it gives that dark wind 25% which is a storm-based spell. And the only other thing that you can look for in a pet, if you're not wanting one that does abilities like this, is hunting for pets like this one, where I have a ton of really junk things, but I have Bound Scout, which I'm working towards. But overall, probably my favorite pet is, is the Kookaburra. Oh no, she disappeared. Show my pet. It's just so happy. Look how happy she is. It's, it's honestly my favorite one. I feel like some of the other ones take too many pips to cast, but that Rastacor Spin is a really good one as well, just for a card in your deck. It has an 85% accuracy, which is the same to this, but then you'd have two cards, so you can pull two different ones. Um, This one I think does more damage though. The other one only does 310. I think she does up to 400. We can check that real quick. Yeah, she does more damage. She does up to 400, so she does more, but this is a pet, so instead of just having the card in your deck of the other pet, this one is needing to have the actual pet equipped. So I guess you could look at it either way, this pet being better because it does more damage, or the other one being that you can use the card and have this pet equipped, so you could technically have both at the same time. That's a win-win situation right there. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!